Hi everyone, welcome to day six workout. Just gonna start with a little bit of warming up with some high knees. And then turn your run into some little butt kicks. All right, and then just something easy you can do in your lounge room floor. So just some little lunges out to the side. Now I must say, I've been providing the exercise workouts every day, but honestly, I don't expect you to all work out every day. You should definitely have a break. I highly recommend having one or two days off a week to rest or even to mix it up a bit and you know, throw in some yoga and some other types of exercises. All right, so shaking your legs out. Okay, I'm gonna do a wall squat hold. So I've shown these before, hopefully you can all see me still in the 90 degree position, just sitting here like this. So like I said, really important to have a rest day. Don't exercise every day. Probably I recommend doing perhaps two resistance um, workouts a week. So using maybe some weights or body weight exercises, sort of no longer than 30 minutes each. And then maybe doing two cardio workouts a week as well. So some high intensity interval training is great. And they need to last about 20 to 25 minutes, which is really good. So you don't need to be spending you know, an hour a day every day in a gym. You can easily do things at home on your lounge room floor, uh, outside. There's heaps of other options out there today. So, all right. Oh, I'm feeling that. So with regard to some weights, I do have some weights, but if you don't, I've got two tins here of cannellini beans. They're only quite light, but it's a good start. So you can do some lateral raises out to the side. And also if you keep, um, Keep watching over the month. We may even make a special recipe with these cannellini beans. Georgia from Well Nourished has a beautiful cupcake recipe. Go and check out her ebook, Well Nourished Lunchbox, where she actually has a, a tin of cannellini beans in these delicious cupcakes. All right, and then into some shoulder presses. So I just wanna say a few things, um, I guess a bit more about myself. So. I studied a science degree in nutrition many, many years ago and I studied health promotion, become a personal trainer and I've since studied metabolic nutrition as well. Uh, I teach kids cooking classes after school, I work as a personal trainer, I'm just passionate about health and fitness. So I decided to start No Pack in November just as a way for everyone to come together on the same page and say, we've had enough of these unhealthy foods being marketed at our children. We want better, we want options that are healthier, more nutritious, and things that we can make easily at home because everyone is so busy today. So that's why I decided to make this page for everyone to come together. So I hope those of you who have joined up or have signed up have been enjoying the recipes and the workouts. Uh, if you've got any feedback, please you know post your photos, any questions you might have or any certain recipes you'd like us to make. We'll actually start making recipes over the coming weeks from um, some of our ambassadors. They've got some beautiful uh, recipes on their blogs, websites, ebooks. So we're going to make some of those. All right. So as I said, if you've got hand weights, you can use some hand weights or just, you know, grab a, a tin of beans or something that you've got in the cupboard or something else heavy at home. All right. We're going to stretch up in a minute. So you could just keep repeating this workout. Actually, what I might do first is we'll do a side plank. Great exercise. I think we might have done them yesterday. So just holding in this position here. Really good for your core, the side. So yeah, please um, let us know how you're going, whether you're enjoying it, what you're thinking, if you've got any tips or suggestions, and apologies if there's been a few technical glitches. Social media is very new to me, so... Um, yeah, it's fantastic, but a lot to get my head around. But really, really enjoying the exposure that you know, Packet November has been receiving. And I really feel that this campaign is going to get bigger and better each year as we all start to realise how important it is to eat real foods again and to get back in the kitchen and just learn the basics of cooking. All right, so side plank hold. And then we'll do some stretches. That's a good stretch. If you can pop one leg in here like that, and then going down there, you feel that in your glute of the bent leg, and then you can also lift up the other leg, and you'll also feel it in, in the quad muscle of 
this leg here on the right. And hold your stretches for 20 to 30 seconds. So yeah, I'm hoping that you're as passionate as I am about health and fitness. Oh, sorry, I'll keep it this way. Like that. And just learning that it's really important that we nourish our kids with the best possible food that we can. And look, like I said, I'm totally normal. We still have chips. My kids have the odd chocolate bar. Um, sometimes I have a lunch order from the school canteen. You know, they're regular kids, but most of the time I know that they're eating healthier foods than a lot of other kids out there who, unfortunately, um, with the marketing these days, it's very difficult as a parent to know what's a good choice. But a lot of parents are busy and the marketers take advantage of that. And they realize that parents are so busy and they sell you these really cheap, brightly colored, um, highly processed foods that have little nutritional value. They're cheap, but unfortunately, I mean, I've fallen in the trap before where my son seems to never stop eating and you know, he'll get some sort of biscuits or whatever it is and just keep eating them, but they're just air. So you really need to be feeding them you know, more vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, obviously, you know, protein like eggs are great, hard boiled eggs, meat, you know, tuna, various sources of protein and your fresh fruits and vegetables. So highly recommend, you know, if you haven't signed up already, do so, check out our website, get some great ideas. And we can all work through this together for the month and hopefully, you know, come into December with Christmas coming up, we'll all have some healthier options and, and just be more aware of what we should be eating and the types of exercises we should be doing. All right, so I'll leave that workout there for today. So hopefully that um, you understand now a little bit more about me, my background and why I'm so interested in, in making a difference. I really do wanna make a difference to the health of families, but especially you know young children. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me today and I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot.